What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. I am not the single guy, but my name is Lloyd and I'm gonna answer a question today. So uh, a couple guys have been asking me what my opinions are on NoFap. You know, what do I think about it? Do I do it? Is it something that I recommend for my clients? Um, so I'm gonna talk about that today. I'm gonna talk about what my opinion on NoFap is, whether I follow it or not, and what would I recommend you guys. Okay, so let's get right into it. Now, my opinion on NoFap is the following. Um, I think it's good for some people. I think it might be unnecessary for others, okay? It really depends on you and what you wanna do with your body. Like, I think masturbation in general is not bad, but too much of anything can be a bad thing. And what we see now in today's society is a lot of guys, especially you know in Japan and in certain areas, they really aren't going out and talking to women. And, and that bothers me. That's something that's like, you know, especially with the lockdowns and everything too, like more people are turning to this sort of thing. And uh, it definitely, it's something that I feel very strongly about. Like I want people to get outside and talk to people, men and women. And I think with this whole nofap uh, craze, I think a part of it's very good, you know, because if you're a guy who's not masturbating or not jerking off to porn, you're not getting that temporary pleasure from those 2D images and yourself. And so you're more motivated to get pleasure from an actual woman. And I like that, I think it's great. For this reason, I recommend a lot of my clients engage in some form of nofap. I'm not really strict on it. I'm not really like, oh, you can't jerk off if you jerked off. You're, if you jerk off, you're kicked out of the program. I'm, I'm not like that. <laughs> uh, but what I am is I am, I do recommend a lot of guys do it so they have more energy, more motivation to go out and start talking to women. What I will say is I will say that I've seen some forums online where a lot of guys who are maybe lonely or maybe don't go out and get out that much and they think NoFap is gonna solve all of their problems. Um, it won't. NoFap is not gonna solve all your problems. You're not gonna develop heat vision or some crazy superpowers that a lot of the, some of these gurus are talking about. Um, but if you find that it's negatively affecting your life, like if you're jerking off to porn several times a day and then you find you're feeling more nervous around women, you find your energy is really low all the time, you feel generally depressed, I would recommend that you stop looking at that. It's the same argument that I have for why you shouldn't be following thoughts on Instagram. I don't think you should be following those kinds of women with like their Photoshop bodies or you know they're taken from certain angles. Like I've dated those women, dude. They do not look like that in real life. Like they look uh, like look like normal girls. You know, some of them are hotter than others. Some of them, you know. You're like, how on earth are you taking those pictures? Like how much Photoshop are you using, right? <laughs> so you're creating an unrealistic expectation. I think that that uh, can also harm you as well too. One thing I would recommend, however, is if you do wanna jerk off, if you do wanna masturbate, take once in a while to maybe just take some time, have some lube, put on a condom, and like simulate what it would be like having a date. I know it sounds kind of weird, <laughs> you know, uh, but a lot of a lot of women have done this for a long time. They kind of take themselves out to dinner or something like that. They make they give themselves a bath. They do like a little a lot of self care. Um, men don't do this shit. And so one form of that I would recommend is maybe the next time you think about masturbating, instead of just quickly trying to come as fast as possible um, to some hardcore images, maybe take it a little slow next time. Maybe start with like, you know, a nice dinner for yourself and then dim the lights, you know, don't use any, don't use any images. Use, relax in your own mind, put on a condom, have some lube, and that will train your brain and your mind to get sexual gratification in a manner that's probably going to be what it is when you actually have it with a real person, uh, which I think is another of the bad things that happen when guys who are masturbating to porn a lot have creates an unrealistic expectation. The actual act of pleasure that you're getting from sex is gonna be nothing like you masturbating to, to porn. Um, you're dealing with a vagina. A vagina is not as uh, tight usually as you can grip it. Um, and the image is, it's just a very different experience uh, when you're with a person. And masturbating like that will simulate that. So I think that can actually be, if you do it in that way, it can be actually pretty healthy for you. Okay, me in my own personal life, I've gone through several periods where I did no fat for like, you know, a few months at a time. I don't know if I got any crazy benefits from it. I know I was horny a lot. <laughs> you know? I mean, naturally, I'm a horny guy. Like, I never, I've never done no fat where I literally don't come for longer than like, um, I think the longest I've done was after college. I did, I did two to three months 
to two to three months. There's no way I could do that now because I have sex too much, um, and I wouldn't give that up just for an experiment. <laughs> Maybe in the future I'll try that, but uh, I haven't done that yet. I think if you're regularly having sex, um, I don't, I don't, not sure if it's necessary. But if you find that the connection with your partner or the people that you're having it with isn't as good as you want it. I think that's another reason uh, to maybe stop doing it, okay? So in short, my opinions and what I would recommend for other people is that, yeah, I think NoFap is good. I think you should look at your own life and make that decision if you feel like you're dependent upon it, if you feel like it's an addiction, if you feel like it's a problem, if you feel like it's negatively affecting you, absolutely, okay? Some people get like super emotional about it. Like if they relapse, it's like they're going back on heroin or something. I don't know if it's that quite that serious, um, but it is something that, you know, you should try and cut down on. You should try and make the effort where you actually want to be with real women as opposed to these two-dimensional images in your hand. I think that's a, that's a lot better way to live your life. But it's not going to solve all your problems, okay? You know, you're not going <laughs> to... I hear some people saying how it's like completely, re, re, you know, revitalized their life. I and mean, Maybe they had a serious problem. Um, but I find with most guys, the nofap thing won't solve all your sexual problems, it won't solve all your emotional problems, and it won't solve all your physical problems. There are other things that you can do, maybe for your physical problems, getting more exercise, eating more healthy, and working out will help. For your emotional problems, maybe getting a coach, maybe uh, dissecting them and really thinking about them and getting a good group of friends around you can help. Uh, and then the last thing is success with uh, sexual Sexual performance with women, I find that guys who do nofap, um, they still suffer from a lot of the sexual problems that they did before. So really it's a mental thing that they have to kind of figure out themselves. Um, and I help them push them in the right way and teach them that you know these sexual problems aren't, aren't bad, they just stop judging themselves. So those things really help too. Um, and I think nofap can provide a benefit but it's not like a silver bullet that's gonna kill, that's gonna you know solve all your problems. But yeah, in general, I just think that a lot of people are talking about like no fab, like it's the be all end all to your problems, and uh, it just ain't. There's a lot more to it than that. So cool. All right, you guys. Well, that's my opinion about it. If you are doing it right now, uh, or if you have an opinion about it, please put it in the comment section below. Would love to hear your opinions. Um, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys soon. Good luck out there.